Hello, fellow grade sevens, and I don't know why I say fellow, because I'm currently in grade nine. So I'm here to talk to you to get, uh, today about cell phones in high school. What uh, do you expect? Do we use them? Do we don't? When do we use them? When can we use them? When shouldn't we use them? Uh, just to give you a bit of a rundown, because uh, I know all of you are very uh, technology savvy at this point, and so is I. Um, so first off, uh, I'm Theo. I'm not sure if you know me. I went to JQ two years ago, graduated class of 2017 with flying colors out of Mr. Day's class. Um, and I'll probably be coming back to do several talks like this. Uh, but uh, cell phones. So most of the time they're not really allowed, which is unfortunate. I mean, all of you I know will rely on technology very heavily this year. Uh, it's great for research, uh, figuring out different ways uh, for problems. If you don't really like one way of doing it, you can search it up on the internet and figure out other ways of other people who have done the same problem but done it differently, which makes more sense to you, which is nice. Uh, but most teachers say, um, if I see it, I'll take it away and confiscate it and I don't want to see it again, which is, you don't want to do that. And all of us, we all have cell phones in high school, we all just want to, you know, check, check the time, what time is it, instead of looking up the clock, which is so much effort. <laughs> So we get more of an exact time of half of us that can't read the clock. Uh, but some classes, the best case scenario, I had a teacher last year, you may get him if you go to Bing, which I highly suggest, uh, Mr. Harris. He said, you can use your cell, phone, cell phones, cell phones, uh, cell phones, if you have it face up on your desk. So he can see what you're doing, because I know some people in our class uh, didn't quite use their technology wisely in the time that they had, which I'm sure all of you will. Uh, you can put it face up on your desk so he can see what you're doing, make sure you're on topic, um, instead of going at the bottom, because it's so obvious that you're doing like this. And I remember one great quote, he said, he said, the only reason why you'd be staring at your crotch and laughing hysterically <laughs> is that you're on your phone. No other reason whatsoever. Except for one guy says, I think I'd just laugh at my crotch and laugh hysterically for no good reason whatsoever, which then kind of changed everything. But uh, that was the best case scenario. Most teachers say, don't use it in class unless I tell you to, or you have the option to. Um, you would be doing a class, like in socials, you'd, <laughs> Mr. Harris was my social teacher, in socials you'd be, probably be using it the most, because in history, more information is on the internet, you're never going to get in a textbook. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, you can use it, but that's, you can only use it for research and for a short period of time, so one or two classes that are during the year. Um, and for me, I'm trying to remember, socials I could do that, English, no, math, you couldn't use your calculator on your phone because I know there's a few websites that you enter an, an algebra question and it does it for you and they, the teachers don't want you to do that because you gotta, you gotta work at it, you gotta put in some effort, <laughs> you gotta work for it. Um, so you can't you even, you'd have to buy a calculator in order to do that. Um, so math, no, PE, what the heck would you use your phone for in PE, besides taking pictures <laughs> of what? Um, PE, no, science, sometimes doing research. I did a project last year with a friend of mine on the Black Plague, which was quite interesting. We had to use the internet quite a bit to even figure out what it looked like. We had to make a model of it, so that was, we can use it, but we didn't use it for the rest of the year. Um, what other classes is drama? No, mind you, Bayard drama, so you don't, don't even need your phones. You actually take out, they pass a bucket around the class and you put your phone in because they don't want to see it. And it makes sense because when you're drama, you don't want to have your phone in your pocket. You can feel it and it distracts you. You want to be fully immersed. Um, no, other, no other classes will let you use your phone. And tablet for that uh, matter either. For all of grade seven, I used my iPad mini. Uh, I don't even remember. I still have that actually. It still works. Had to replace it three or four times, but that's okay. <laughs> Didn't catch on fire once in a year. Uh, you can't, you're not going to use that because theft is now an issue at, at Bing. Uh, your lockers could get breaking into, broken into, breaking into. Haven't had an English class for two months. Cut me some slack. Um, so you don't want to bring that. And I didn't learn my lesson, but I know a few friends that did. Uh, especially in the gym lockers. Other schools come to Bing to break into our lockers because we have the least protection, uh, the less volume in our halls at night. While their schools stay up like till eight o'clock at night while the teachers are working, but Bing shuts down at five. Uh, so everyone 
come from other schools and breaks in. So if you bring a tablet, you're not going to use it. Um, sometimes laptops, though, you can say to the teacher, I work better if I type on a laptop and I'll be more efficient. Some teachers let you do that. Or some just say, suck it up, princess, and you're never going to see it again. <laughs> I don't know. I only know a few people that use that in class. But besides that, um, technology as a cell phone is probably the thing you're only going to use. So my suggestion is when you go into high school, don't bring your tablet or you don't bring your laptop for the first few weeks because you, you're not going to use your laptop for your first few weeks. Your phone is the only thing it's going to be of use for you. So there's another one of Theo Robson's Bing Arts talks uh, about cell phones in high school. Hope you enjoyed it.